Hey Taurus, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a weekly reading for you. Um, I apologize that I have been incognito, not incognito, just not around. Um, yeah, I was having a lot of um, equipment, technical issues, no need to go into detail on that, but you know, and I also believe that talking about talking about it or posting a video about, which I couldn't even do, <laughs> but, you know, even updating on my channel, it, it just feeds it. So, you know, that's why it kind of appeared that I just disappeared. Not my intention, but I had some things that I had to fix and they are now fixed. So we're just going to move forward. Okay. So I know that for those of you that watch me all the time, you know, when, you know, somebody on YouTube suddenly disappears, that's frustrating, you know, and I apologize for that, but you know, it is what it is. So anyway, moving forward, we're going to, this is one of my decks that I haven't used on camera before. Um, it's called Life Stories. And basically it's a snapshot of something that went on for you when it comes to this connection. Could be in the past, most likely in the past. Um, it could be reflecting something that's going on right now, or it could be something that's going to happen in the future, okay? So this card up here, this row represents you, this row represents your person, and then this is the mutual energy that you are in right now. So we'll take a look. So again, this row up here is you, of course, in a general reading, you know, the stories might be flipped, okay, or reversed. That's perfectly okay. And then down here represents your person. Okay, so let's see what we have. We're going to start with you, okay? So what do we have here? It says, deciding what's next for me now. So <clears throat> you're in the energy right now of deciding what's next for you. So it feels like something could have recently happened within this connection that's causing you to think about, well, what's next? Um, we might see you know, what that is from your person here, okay? But we're going to do you first. So let's see. We've got four of swords. So you're definitely in this energy of thinking. You're thinking about this person. You're thinking about possibly what transpired between the two of you, what happened, what went wrong, what went right. Um, but this tells me that you're you're possibly in the energy of being on some type of break from this person for whatever reason. And during this time, you might even be overthinking this situation, spending too much time thinking about this. No action here right now. What else? Page of Pentacles. Looking for some type of window of opportunity, but I feel like it's equally focused on what the limitations were here. What were the limitations with this connection? And that I feel is past energy. And then also, you know, again, an energy of what's next, you know, a window of opportunity to possibly talk to this person to figure out where they're at. You might not know where this person is at with this connection. Again, overthinking. And then what do we have? 
Wow. Queen of Cups. So you have not lost feelings for this person. The feelings might be increasing actually by being apart. So when we see Queen of Cups and Four of Swords, I feel like you might be doing a lot of fantasizing about this person. And it's because, you know, you might have the closest thing to unconditional love for your person. And you don't know what to do, deciding what's next. What's next for you now? It feels like this is what feels like what's next. You know, this, this love. But you're waiting or looking for some type of window of opportunity with this person. All right, so let's see where they're at. I feel like this is what's going to tell us what might have happened between the two of you. We've got, look at this, heated encounter unresolved. All right, so makes sense. So there was some type of maybe heated argument or it, this doesn't have to be an argument. It could have been a heated, passionate encounter. And now it's like we didn't talk about it afterwards. It's unresolved. You know, this could have been a one night stand. Um, I, I almost feel like that's the more likely, but for some of you, it could have been a heated argument, but I think for a lot of you, it was about a heated one night stand or passionate encounter where now you're both left with, oh my God, what, what just happened? I, you know, and I feel like this heated encounter might've been, and this is very unusual energy for Taurus, honestly, um, it, it like it happened and nobody talked about it afterwards. Like there wasn't really a conversation about it. It was like, um, like it might've been amazing, but with this unresolved energy here, it's like nobody knows what to do next. You know, this might be somebody that you work with or somebody that you encounter on the, on your daily, you know, your daily life. And it's like, what do I say now? Did that really happen? You know, I didn't mean for that to happen or there might be some of that. But I feel like more than anything, you're thinking a lot about, and again, fantasizing about what already might have taken place here. Let's see, where is this person at? We've got three of wands. Okay, so I feel like they're waiting for you. They're waiting for you to say something. <laughs> They're waiting for you to, you know, crack the ice again with what happened first. Doesn't mean that that's the right energy for them to be in, but nevertheless, they are in that energy. They would prefer that you say something first about this. This could be somebody that, you know, maybe you admired for a long time, you know, you were out for drinks at work and, you know, or a gathering at work and both of you might have had a little too much to drink and suddenly you found yourself in the throes of passion. <laughs> it feels like it's something like that. And now this person wants you to say something first. What do we have? The star. Wow. Wow. So the reason that they're afraid to say something first is because they feel like they might have um, more feelings than you. But I don't think that's the case with the Queen of Cups here. I feel like this was some pretty passionate, this was a passionate, possibly a passionate romp or a passionate uh, argument. And if it was a passionate argument, then, you know, this person still sees you as their heart's desire and it's unresolved for them. It's unresolved and they would like for you to make the first move on resolving this. And I, you know, it's funny. I don't feel like it's coming from a place of ego with this person. Um, I feel like it's truly coming from a place of, you know, oh my gosh, did I actually spoil this or did I mess this up? 
or did I do the wrong thing or does this person think less of me I, it comes more from a place of fear than a place of ego as to why they want you to be the one that reaches out to them first and then we've got two of wands so I feel like this person is pretty sure about what they would like to see happen between the two of you they know where they want to go with you but they're they're they haven't done it yet they know how they want to see this play out but they haven't done anything about it yet they've left it unresolved they would prefer that you make the first move to resolve this and it's coming from a place of fear and it's funny because I don't think you're necessarily in a place of fear you're really thinking about what's next for this connection and I think you're thinking and fantasizing about what happened which was really good I don't think you're in a place of fear it's like what is the next window of opportunity for possibly to experience this again this might be a secretive type of connection right now I mean it's almost even secretive to both of you but I feel like you are falling in love with this person. And for I think this person's already in love with you. All right, so let's see what the energy is between the two of you. Look at this, grateful moment. So there was a moment in time here that both of you were just very grateful, really grateful. Serendipity and signs from above. So, this is the energy that you share. So I feel like you're grateful for each other. You're grateful for the moment that you had, whether it was, you know, a heated, passionate argument or a heated, passionate encounter. That argument could have enlightened you to how you truly feel for this person um, or how they truly feel for you or this heated, passionate encounter that the two of you had almost felt serendipitous and the two of you might be seeing signs from above about why this connection possibly came together all right so let's get whoops let's get a clarifier from you on this and a clarifier from your person about how you're feeling right now All right, so for you, Nine of Cups, this encounter, whatever it was, was something that filled your heart, that it was a wish fulfilled. Nine of Cups is very similar to the star the, in the Minor Arcana. So I feel like this is mutual energy. You both felt very fulfilled by this. This might have been a dream come true. And now you are in the energy of deciding what's next, you know, like in a good way. And they're just like, they're fearful that they might have messed something up by this encounter. They're fearful about <clears throat> maybe what you're thinking about right now. They would prefer that you make the first move. And then what do we have here? Temperance. So whenever the temperance card comes up, there's one element. You can see there's, there's four elements here. So, you know, it can be um, earth, water, air, fire. And then this big circle here represents spirit, which is the fifth element. So something is out of whack for this person right now. Let's see what it is. We've got Ace of Pentacles. So it's like, it's earth energy, so it's like about what happened on this earthly plane. So what's out of balance for them right now is, you know, that grounded energy. This person is possibly their head is in the clouds right now. They're fearful about a potential, you know, new beginning that this encounter might have started. They're worried about how this is going to play out in the physical world 
okay? That's what's out of balance for them right now. That's what needs to be resolved is, you know, did we actually start something here or did we actually just end something here? They don't know. I feel like you're in the energy of, you're in a higher energy here. Um, you know it's good. It's it was good from you right for you right from the start. You've got Queen of Cups and Nine of Cups here. This person might be your person. This person fulfills you in indefinitely in you know a heated, passionate way. This person knows what they want. I feel like they want you. But they're very unsure and fearful about, again, did we just start something or did we just end something? They don't know. All right, Taurus, that is what I have for you for this, uh, for this week. Um, if you are looking for a personal reading, just reach out. I will respond quickly most of the time. I'll put that caveat in there. Um, and we'll get you a deeper, a deeper reading. If not, no problem. I will talk to you next time. Uh, I will also be doing a Friday reading, which I will probably release on Thursday. All right. So for the weekend. All right. So that's all I got. And again, sorry for the, the delays that I had, um, but I'm back and happy to be back. All right. So have a fantastic week. Thanks so much. Bye.